In just a week and a half, more than 12 million people have viewed and heard Katie Turner's voice in Shane Dawson's trailer for The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star, and Katie told us exclusively how grateful she is for this opportunity from Shane. What's up, y'all? It's Emil and it's Junior here with Clever News, and we all know that last week Shane dropped the trailer for his highly anticipated series, The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star. And if you watched it, you know that we didn't actually hear Shane or Jeffree speak in the entire trailer. Instead, Shane opened the video with Katie Turner grabbing her guitar and introducing her song Prom Queen, which overlaid the entire four minute trailer. And we actually got to talk to Katie on Clever News Celebrity Lowdown about how much Shane has impacted her life and career by featuring her in this trailer. This is a trailer that's of a series that so many people have been anticipating and, and my face is in it. Like I start out the video with my face and that scared the heck out of me. In the trailer, we get to see Shane and Jeffrey throughout, but I was just captivated by Katie's emotional and deeply personal song. And I certainly wasn't alone. The comments are flooded with people loving the trailer, but so many people were talking about Katie's voice and song. One person wrote, not only is this going to be one of the best series ever, but this song is so good. This video is a perfect advertisement. So much character and emotion. This is going to be so good. And another said, is no one going to talk about the song in the back? It's literally perfect. The singer is actually everything. And Katie opened up about how much Shane has impacted her life and career by featuring her in this music video. And then just with one four minute video, right. you can suddenly reach all these goals that seem so impossible and it really just takes one moment to change your life. Aww. And it did, and that's really cool. And I owe Shane a lot for that. She even performed her song Prom Queen, which by the way, you can catch more of her performance and the full interview right here on Clever in our new show, Celebrity Lowdown, which airs every Saturday at 8 a.m. on Clever News. But here's just a little taste of her performance, and let me warn you, she's somehow even better live, which I didn't even think was possible. I'm holding on, but barely played by teenage popularity. I still have chills, but guys, make sure you check out Celebrity Lowdown this Saturday to watch the entire performance and full interview. But for now, in case you were wondering how Shane and Katie met, Shane discovered Katie's videos on YouTube while she was on American Idol last year, and they've been fans of each other ever since. When Katie got kicked off American Idol, Shane even went off about it on Twitter. He tweeted, Katie Turner is a f***ing icon. She was my hope at having another Kelly Clarkson finale moment and I'm pissed. Maybe I'll recreate the finale in my living room for a video and crown her the winner myself and she can sing for me and my mom. Katie replied and said, quote, Shane, stop. I deserved it. I just want to send you my love. To which he replied with, wait, what? You literally should have won. Okay, just a sec. Looking up the clips on YouTube so I can see this bull but Katie and Shane's Twitter friendship was only the beginning of their real life friendship. She said that when he asked to meet her, she was really nervous, but he made her feel so comfortable and that he truly wanted to help her succeed. And that he certainly did because since his trailer dropped, she's seen close to a million new prom queen streams on her Spotify and over 40,000 new YouTube subscribers. And while that's amazing for Katie, it's no surprise given Shane was involved. I mean, Shane has over 22 and a half million subscribers and pretty much everything he touches turns to gold. But Shane has also helped countless others rise to even higher fame. Eugenia Cooney had a big following of her own before her friendship with Shane, but she ended up taking some time off over the past year to seek treatment for an eating disorder. When she was ready to come back and talk about everything she went through, Shane gave Eugenia a platform to share her story. I want to hear you tell your story. Okay. He made Eugenia feel comfortable enough to talk about everything that she went through to hopefully be able to help others. Maybe some people that are going through a hard time or an eating disorder or like anything know they can like get through that and that there is like help for them and that people do care about them a lot. Okay, if you need anything, text yeah, me, you too. call me. The video, which was released on his birthday, has almost 30 million views, which has obviously helped Eugenia relaunch her channel since taking her hiatus. And with his new series out, Shane has been promoting other musicians' work too, not just Katie's. After dropping the first episode of the series earlier this week, Shane put out an 11-track Spotify playlist featuring all songs used in it, including Katie's. Other artists whose songs he featured in the episode include Hoodie Allen, Rebecca Black, and Queen Herbie. And these artists let Shane use their music for free because the exposure they get on Shane's channel is worth more than monetary compensation for them. And while some people criticize Shane for this, he stands behind his ways. Last month he tweeted saying, the amount of YouTubers and artists I have helped over the years is countless. When I use a song, I promote the artist heavily and with care. If a song is made for me specifically, then I pay very well, and I always have. 
ask any artist I've ever worked with. And it looks like he's right because Katie told Toot Filter that quote, I gave him permission to use it because like, he was doing me a favor. He worked so hard. I'm like, listen, Shane, your payment to me is the whole platform of YouTube you've introduced me to. And I'm just looking forward to more of the beautiful life of Jeffree Star. We know episode two is dropping today, but you've heard my end of the story. Now I want to hear what you have to say about Katie's song and Shane's trailer. Are you a fan and did it resonate with you like it did with so many others? And do you like that artists are getting exposure this way? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And make sure to watch tomorrow's new episode of Celebrity Lowdown right here on Clever for more of our interview with Katie and her in-studio performance of her song Prom Queen. Susan and I were both ready to cry when she started singing. But guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you don't miss any of our new stories. Then click right over here for another brand new video. Thanks for hanging out with me here on Clever News. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. and I hope you have a wonderful day.